Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature. Another day, another Kingdom Death model, right? This is one of the more recent models, part of the generic class line. That's why we got a big G, capital G. But this is, in case you can't read, and if you can't read, I'm not really sure why you're watching my channel, because that's odd, but this is the Holy Mage. I'll forgive you. Certainly weren't one of my students then, i tell you that much. Unfortunately, I did not get... A collector's edition but after getting a couple of number ones I really shouldn't complain is quite well endowed but despite all that she is quite clothed for a kingdom death model that seems to be a recent trend and I'm all for it I think it's cool I know some of you are not as much into that but it does add to a diverse group of models on my shelf and even sometimes on the table if I can ever get anybody else to play or not have to worry about a stupid pandemic, you know, ruining things. So let's take a look at the parts. Oh, you are thin and fragile. That's worrisome. And you're already broken. Fantastic. Okay, I'm guessing these little tassels are supposed to go somewhere on her robe. And then her head is going to go like so. And it would probably help, number one, if it was closer. And number two... It's in focus, so you can see better. As always, the facial details on these models are very nice. Uh, I don't know how her belly button is showing through. This must be super sheer. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to paint it like that. I've seen some wonderful, amazing examples of that online, but that's not what's going to happen with mine. I also suck at painting white. And I'm going to give it that old college try, but no promises. It turns out decent. As always, we've got those Chun-Li thighs going on. Either you're into that or you're not. You've got what looks to be a whip in her hands. A whip. Not a cool whip. But yeah. And then the sleeves to her robe. Overall, not too complicated. I'm a little bit sad about this, but on the other hand, they probably should have known better than to put such tiny little wispy parts on there. It's not like it's the first time this has happened. I just keep thinking back to my priestess model and trying to keep that piece of smoke on her little cigarette has been quite the challenge. I think I've broken it three times now in the process of getting her painted. So, Anyways, let's get our holy mage all put together and we'll be back with her soon. So despite the fiddly nature of her, we did manage to get the holy mage all put together. And yeah, I've got her like just globbed on in the blue tech there. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, the sculptor decided that she only wanted to have one of those legs on her base. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Uh, they are precarious enough without having to make it even worse. And I guess if you wanted to pin her or have something helping support her by all means you can let me know what you're gonna do because <laughs> i have no clue uh, those tassels are also just waiting to get snagged on something so i did figure out it was supposed to go right there or i'm guessing it's going right well that is where it's going right there yeah it is a cool sculpt though i dig it um i don't think i'm going to be able to get her dress as sheer as i've already seen some people manage to have done so far out there but you know, that's just me and my poor painting skills. I shouldn't say poor. Adequate. Mediocre. Tolerable. Grabbing a couple other generic Kingdom Death ladies. On the left being the Hospitaller and on the right being the Holy Priestess. Felt like they'd be a good match for the Holy Mage. So we are definitely continuing to branch out in terms of what kinds of jobs are being offered in these generic classes and there you go lady i do appreciate the fact that you know it's a very different pose there's a lot of different things going on the cloak or shawl or whatever the thing is going on over her head there the whip the tassels the pose even the big drapey sleeves on her dress it's just it's a bit different and that's obviously a good thing because we like that and if we want to see the model line continue to grow and diversify itself, then absolutely we love seeing different things like that. And they, you know, as 
curvaceous as she may be, she is still fully clothed, as skin tight as it may look. So it is kind of cool to see more models represented with actual clothing in the Kingdom Death world. That's always a fun touch. But cool looking model nonetheless. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamerly with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching. We'll see you back here soon. Hopefully I don't break her. Bye.